I like this. Welcome back to my channel, my friends. So we are currently on the way to Dunkin' Donuts because I'm gonna have a Dunkin' Donut for breakfast. <laughs> That's because this week, the majority of my diet is gonna be ultra processed foods. So let me give you the plan for this week. I want to keep my calories the same. So the last seven days I tracked my calories and I'm at about, on average, 2,427 calories. Let's call it 2,400. I'm working out about four to five times a week. I'm not going to be changing anything in terms of my lifestyle this week. All I'm going to be doing is changing the makeup of my diet. Starting with a Dunkin' Donut. Look at all these cars already. Oh, that's the queue for the drive through Out there, look. It goes onto the road. Oh wow. Yeah. Everyone's out here. I'm intimidated by the fact that I have to... I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I kind of wish you were driving. <laughs> Can we get the sausage, egg and cheese and an ice matcha latte, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've never done... No, this. I've, I've never, never done, done this, this before. <laughs> Holy crap. What? That is the sweetest matcha latte I've ever had in my life. Really? I didn't ask for sugar. I don't think it's a choice. Oh. <laughs> right, what did I get? I tried to say to my French roots, so I got a croissant. Oh, classy. Yeah. That cheese. Is that a French brie? This is 720 calories. No. Maybe it's heavier than it looks. It's no. It, <laughs> it's exactly how it it's looks. Air. It's not bad. It's not bad. Get a load of that. Do you reckon you could have another one of those? 100%. Like, as in now, for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> it's my last bite. I'm still so hungry. All done. I'm gonna let you have that. You liked it. You liked it. I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> so let me introduce you to my new diet. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I eat intuitively. My what I eat in a day show that I eat lots of different foods, mainly from minimally processed or whole foods, but I do still have ultra processed foods because nothing is off limits and they still taste really good. But this week, 60% of my diet is gonna come from ultra processed foods. And you might be thinking, why 60%? And that's because 60% is the average dietary share of ultra processed foods in the US, but also in the UK. And there are a lot of countries catching up. There's more recent studies that showed that six to 19 year olds have an average dietary share of ultra processed foods of about 69%. 69? 69, the classic number. 69, all right? 69%. 69%, it's a young man's game. I'm too old for this. <laughs> My goal is basically to hit a minimum of 60%, eating about 2,400 calories. That would put me at 1,400 calories from ultra processed foods. And, um. Good luck. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> So just before I go to the gym and just before I jump into eating lots of ultra processed foods for the week, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Ultra processed foods are ready to eat or ready to heat industrial formulations made mainly with ingredients refined or extracted from food. Generally, they're more energy dense and contain more harmful fats and more sugars and salt and less fiber than unprocessed or minimally processed foods. They're low cost and highly profitable formulations in sophisticated packaging to seduce the consumer. For the next seven days, I'm here to be seduced. I'm here for the seducing. Too much of anything is not good for you, baby. That felt awkward, right? Between me and you, that felt really awkward. I actually recently created a Science Explained video called Why You Can't Stop Craving Unhealthy Foods. That was a lot of science, but I also feel like for me to completely understand why these foods are so hard to put down, I need to live the experience. I'm about to go to the gym. This is the first workout I've ever done that is fueled by a Dunkin' Donuts sausage egg croissant. <laughs>
Good job. So my pre-workout meal was Dunkin' Donuts. My post-workout meal <laughs> is Papa John's. <laughs> Brown and ready for sharing. So, Our so incredible stuffed cheesy breads, rich chocolate lava crunch cakes, and ice cold drinks. Buttery. Gooey, melty in the mouthy. Dripping, dripping. <laughs> this is the smallest pizza they have, but if I'm trying to stick to my daily caloric intake on average, which is about 2,400 then I can only have half of this pizza. There's clearly a bigger half here. Meh. Oh this. yeah, yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is that bad? Is that bad? <laughs> it's bad? I don't care, really. Make it last, you only got three slices. Have you seen this one? Fifty shades of beige. <laughs> had three slices total and that is about 1,400 calories and I still feel really hungry. No, well you can have it if you want but... Oh, it's so tempting! I'm so hungry! So now we're heading off to Target. I need to do a new grocery haul. New me, new diet, new grocery haul. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting the day off with a chia seed pudding. I need some food that is gonna stay with me. There's some good weight to this. These could lay the foundations of your home. That's how heavy they are. Did you explain your little accident? I wanted to wax my upper lip, and in the process, I also took my skin off. <laughs> this is what you did right before you went on that podcast. Yeah, I went on Ali Abdal's podcast, and just put, like an hour before, I was like, oh, quick, I was just gonna quickly wax my upper lip and then I just took the skin off. The whole time I was on that podcast, my whole upper lip was on fire. <laughs> See ya. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, okay, this is really bad of me. I should have said this yesterday. I've, it's been four years of YouTube and I've really got no excuse, but if you like the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Oh, Hit the subscribe Ten button. Into the video. Hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you're not already part of our amazing family. And also, I'm over on Instagram as well. So if you want some workouts or just some casual fun, because I can provide fun. subscribe button and uh, go follow me on Instagram. I think that's what it says. All right. Yeah, you just have to really look. I can't look see. Close enough. Okay, so today's a Sunday. It's the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl Sunday. My understanding is that it's the biggest game of the year. I'm just educating you on that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I don't know anything about the NFL. All I know is that what I think is that there's going to be incredible snacks. <laughs> I never drink beer. <laughs> I've never seen you drink beer. Like, like ever. It's 
ridiculous. Look at this thing. You can only throw it forward once. That's where the progress of the attacking team gets pushed to. Rams. No, it's Rams. Because Rams have like a curled. You do that. It's like a ram. <laughs> I'm kind of done. This is where I'm at. You did well. I think I did do quite well. Yeah, you did there. really well. I think that's about 1,400. And the rest is to you, Mario. I'm, no. I'm tagging you in. No. Tag your bestie. No, I'll help you out. There you go. Someone is drunk. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you had two beers. Mm, it's a really good speed of reclination. <laughs> what happened to my hair? Now I'm having dinner. I've tried to pack in as much volume as possible. So this is about 550 calories. I'm ready for breakfast. Turns milk green. Frosted toasted oat cereal with marshmallows. Oh my god, am I having marshmallows for breakfast? Okay, now just do straight marshmallow. None of the boring stuff. You are bones, sir. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> By the way, happy Valentine's Day. Can you see that it's green? Is it just like a, a brownie? It's like a beige green. Sugar and corn syrup. Dextrose, gelatin, blue one, yellow five and six. Blue one, just blue just one. Just blue, just blue and the number one. Yellow and the number five and six. <laughs> oh no. Catch up. So we're just coming for a nice chill morning walk. It's my day off from the gym. So I'm still doing my two days on, one day off. And today is my day off. So I'm just coming for a nice little walk. Then I'm gonna be sat at my desk all day. It's actually quite nice. What's not to like? This cheese and pasta, which I've always liked, and chicken nuggets. I mean. <laughs> it's very easy to eat. Wow, you look ridiculously good. You're biased. Look at my date tonight. I need to be, I need to be carried now. My feet hurt. So it's Valentine's Day today. Me and Mario are going out for dinner. To celebrate many, many years of Valentine's. I am the bad man. It's not even close. It's terrifying. Is that? I was born in the dark. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Of course, Michael Wayne. <laughs> Michael Wayne. Behind the oh. restaurant. Seven fifty in fries. There's some good fries though.
To be honest, that's not a full meal because usually I would get a shake, but that would take me to like 2,000 calories. So I've had to make some serious cutbacks today. So I'm gonna have one animal fries and one burger, and that's my 60% of my calorie intake. <laughs> it's not much, is it? Look cute, but you came to the wrong place for that. <laughs> that was successful. Oh, that's my favorite thing of the week. Yeah, I could yeah. tell you enjoyed that one. I couldn't keep a smile off my face, <laughs> to be honest. It's so damn rich. The animal fries are just like. Rich for you, maybe. I thought it was pretty light. <laughs> light work. Now we're heading off to drive and get donuts from a show that we watched called You. It's on Netflix. And in their second season, they're in LA and they had these donuts that looked Ridiculous. insane. We've been on the road for about an hour and we thought it was going to be really close. If you look at the map, it looks like... Reasonable to yeah. go that far to get donuts. Yeah. Then we started driving. It quickly became unreasonable. What and yet doing? here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Bob, close your mouth. I'm actually really excited for this. Play it cool, play it cool. Just... Oh, don't ask oh, Yeah, no, we just live locally. They say you eat with your eyes first and... Oh, baby. My eyes I'm are feasted. <laughs> Like it's not trying to be too different, but it still feels classic. I really enjoyed that. Wow. Oh, oh I'm so torn. I love Crosstown, but I'm so torn. Isn't that really impressive? Wow. I almost want to go up there and shake their hands. <laughs> You're actually getting up there? Yeah. These are the best donuts I've ever had. No, they're amazing, honestly. Thank you so much. They're very good. Like, I'm proud of them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You're proud of them. <laughs> it's so rare to eat something that's like the best you've ever had of something. They were the best donuts they're, I've ever had. Yeah, they were the best donuts I've ever had. You ready for some breakfast? I don't know if I'm ready for this one, actually. I don't know if I'm ready for this one either. What's in the box? Jack in the box. What's in the box? Right, croissants. <laughs> Didn't realise we stumbled in on a uh, French patisserie. <laughs> a thousand and sixty <gasps> calories. What? For breakfast? What's left during the day? Hi. Ultimate breakfast. Please. Can I get an ultimate breakfast, please? We asked for a black coffee. Black coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> Legend Before has it. Before I thought it, she she'd knew. already served it. <sighs> Smells fresh. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> It's so light. How's that 550 calories? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yours is even nicer. Oh, 
lighter. No, it's not. Mine's like 600 calories or something. <laughs> Your, no, yours is like 700. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Like that, it looks like quite a good meal. Mm. It looks like a decent, quite filling, 700 calories. Yeah, it's about right. Yeah, at that point you're thinking, what's okay. he complaining about? That. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> it's quite cute. It is quite cute. I actually quite enjoy mine. I've actually really enjoyed this. Wonderbar. How are you feeling this morning? Ah, uh, blah. That's kind of the best way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten the same amount of calories and yet I feel like lethargic, like I don't have any energy. <laughs> I don't even feel motivated. <sighs> you know some workouts, you just want them to be over. Yeah, yeah. really good but um I'm still kind of hungry <laughs> I've been starving all day so I need a huge meal I've been starving all week all right I'm a level with you I'm not full still I'm just I haven't I don't feel full I don't feel satisfied we need to sort this out tonight I'm just gonna allow myself to eat from the snacks and treats that I bought myself from the supermarket. I'm just curious to see what it takes for me to actually get full on these foods. We're experimenting, you know? All right, I'm done with these. My mouth just feels like cheese. That's nice. Can you eat them without being, let me try, raw? Did you say these are raw? <laughs> I'm not sure they are. Mm. This is s'mores. To be honest, I'm starting to feel satiated. Congrats. So that was two Pop-Tarts, half a bag of Cheetos. Top of my head, that was about a thousand calories, but I'll add it up all properly from what I weighed. And um, we've done it. I saw these on Stranger Things. Is that marketing or what? Congelados in una tostadora. Oh, my Spanish is a little rusty. So these are basically just waffles from Frozen and they just need the toaster. You know when something is so sweet and then it feels like it's burning your throat. <laughs> so sweet to burn your throat. Let's continue. Very sweet, but not bad. All right, it's time to end the week with the maestros. It can only be Mackie D. It's the only way to end it. I, I just feel like these guys paved the way where we're at now. I'm gonna get some nuggets. I am on a crash right now. Crash course. Land, air and sea. Look at the height of this thing. Oh yeah, because it's like beef, chicken with wings, oh, even chicken. though the chicken don't fly. And a and fish, fish fillet. Pioneers. The 
it's a young man's game. That went down unbelievably easily. <laughs> like it's just all of the meal times just get compressed when you eat these foods. Like there's no, I don't need a knife or fork. There's no veg. There's no veg. So like, it's like four or five minutes and you're done. And you're done, it's done. And now <laughs> I feel like a different person. I now feel like- You have energy now. I have energy now. I'm just gonna pass out. <sighs> Okay, so it's day eight now. My week of eating mostly ultra processed foods has come to an end. And I think the biggest thing I noticed about myself and how I felt was that the whole week I was either on a high or I just needed a nap. And my mental focus just was way down. I really struggled to just focus and calm my mind because I was just always... The second thing I noticed is that I was never satisfied. I was eating to the point at which I got to 2,400 calories and that was on such a small volume of food because of how energy dense the food was. And on that day where I did eat to feeling satisfied, like there's only so long I can feel hungry for you guys, um, I did over consume by about a thousand calories. It went down easy. And kind of the last thing, but I think it's kind of tied, was just motivation. I had no motivation, especially for exercise. There are also a few big things that this week really highlighted for me. And the first is that it's definitely cheaper, but it's not always as cheap as I thought it would be. Going into this week, I actually thought this would be the main driver of why people choose ultra processed foods, but I've kind of, I've kind of changed my mind. Even higher income households still have a very similar dietary share of ultra processed foods. And I thought that was really weird until I realized that ultra processed foods come in lots of different forms. Like you can have a $1 tub of ice cream or you can have a $6 tub of ice cream and they're still both ultra processed. The more money you make, the appeal for convenience and taste doesn't go away. But I think the biggest thing I realized was how much easier and how much more convenient it was eating these types of foods. The whole process is so much easier. There's no cook time, there's no prep time, there's no cleanup. You can find it wherever and the whole process just takes way less energy. Which is kind of ironic because I felt like I had way less energy. It's just kind of like a vicious cycle. We grew up, we didn't have much money, but my parents insisted on us eating whole foods, home cooked foods. I only had a takeaway the first time when I was 16 and it was so alien to me, I'd never had it before. And I think I appreciate now more than ever how much energy, effort and love they put into making that happen for us. And so I think if whole unprocessed foods want to put up a serious fight. It needs to become more easy, more convenient to eat that way. And I think I always knew that, but this week it really came to life. So I'm really glad I did this. I'm still gonna continue eating ultra processed foods, just more in moderation. And I still think the enjoyment of food and the memories you can create around it are still a part of life. And I mean, those donuts, I will remember forever. They were incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to join our incredible family with the little notification bell as well. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you. Bye.